Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel CodeLogic. So in this series we are seeing the hospital management system. So we are developing the system using Angular and Firebase. In our previous videos we have seen how to add the doctor, uh, how to list all the doctors. Okay. So in this video uh, we are going to see how to edit a doctor. So uh, watch the video till the end. And uh, if you are new here then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So you can see here when you click on that edit button. So this is how uh, uh, it will look like okay so form field forms will be al already filled with the data and when we click on save you can see so doctor is updated so yeah uh, this is what we are going to see now so without wasting time let's get started so we'll go to our application inside service data service.ts file We'll create here a new method update doctor. This method will uh, take argument as a doctor. So first we'll add it here doctor of type any and then uh, we are going to call the method fs dot doc doctors. update and we are going to pass that doctor object here okay so now uh, we'll go to the doctor component inside which doctor component.ts file here uh, we have to open this uh, dialog on click of that edit button so for that we'll copy the add doctor method as it is and we'll paste it here and uh, we'll change its name first to edit doctor okay so uh, these are the fields which will uh, remain same in our doctors component.html file on click of that edit button we have to call that method okay so first we'll change the comment to action column then there it is our myth or icon edit so on click of that we have to call that edit doctor method and we have to display the dialog box okay so we have to pass this row here so now uh, We'll go to the doctor component.ts file. We have one argument row of type any. Now we have a data. So we'll check if row.id is exactly equals to null or row.name is exactly equals to null. Then we don't have to process all these things. We have to we just return from here. and uh, in a data we have assigned the row as it is okay so we'll copy that data and we have to add the title also so title edit doctor so this title will be shown on the dialog and then we have another variable birth date so we have to convert the birth date because birth date is stored in timestamp form so we have to convert that to to date Okay, so we have used here to date method and here uh, on dialog click we have to open uh, add doctor component okay and if after getting the data we have to update it so for that we have to call that update doctor okay and uh, we have to show the snack bar also so in a snack bar we have to change the message doctor is updated successfully So uh, we'll go to this add component, add doctor component file. We'll open the add doctor component.ts file. Here uh, you can see on constructor, in constructor, we have to define variables, right? So first we'll define one ID variable of type string. 
and we are getting data from that doctor component so we have to assign that data to the variables which we have defined so here you can see name then we have mobile email gender department then birth date qualification okay and we have to update that data in form so to do that we have used here on engine it we have uh, values so we have to update that here so the variables which we have declared earlier we have to fill it here okay this is how uh, the form will contain the values which we have passed from doctor component.ts file so now we can check it okay so we are getting the data here now on click of this when we update the data we have to check the data is getting updated or not so when you click on that register button it's uh, not getting updated so you can check for any error is there or not yes there is an error okay so invalid okay so uh, it's asking for one parameter but we have passed zero you can see here in update doctor we have not not passed the id so we have to pass the id so the id will be doctor dot id okay and here for the id we have to define we have to get the data in constructor so we have not done that earlier so data dot id okay so everything is good now we'll edit it okay data is updated and snack bar is shown okay but when we click on the edit button you can see uh, it's showing like register right it should be update right so uh, we have to do that change now so what we are going to do is we'll declare one variable here button name and for add doctor it should be register and when we have to update it edit doctor then uh, it should be update okay so we'll define one variable here data dialog config dot data dot button name update now uh, we'll go to the add doctor component dot ts file okay here we'll define one variable button name of type string and we'll get the value in a constructor okay from the data variable button name equal to data dot button name and here for the register we have to bind the button name here okay so we'll check it now so when we click on the register add doctor then it's a register now name and uh, when we click on edit it is update okay so yeah that's it for the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till then bye bye